understand that statistically speaking, most people that are in your life <clears throat> are going to end up poor. Most of the normal people, basically, that, you know, have regular jobs that are in the mindset of, you know, wake up, go to work, eight, nine hours, come back home, take a shower, get something to eat, watch their favorite show, go to bed, wake up, do it again. And part of being on the journey and climbing to the top to uh, power is that you have to accept the fact that everybody can't come with you. And you have to accept the fact that like, like really I can't put my mind in somebody's head of accepting mediocrity, but you just have to accept the fact that people are okay with being mediocre because that's where their that's where their temperature is. It's just like it's just like a room. Like there's a certain temperature in the room. Okay. Everybody has their certain temperature. And you have to realize that that particular person or the particular people in your life have a certain temperature and it's always going to stay at that certain temperature. It's not they're not gonna raise it up. They're not going to lower it down. That's just the normal for them. And that's <clears throat> that's regular to them. All right. You just have to accept that fact. Like, And sometimes I just deal with feeling, <coughs> excuse me, feeling bad. I deal with um, like, damn, fuck. Why does it have to be this way? Why does it have to be that? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get fucking rich. But like, damn, how the fuck am I going to deal with getting rich? Like sometimes I watch videos of rich people just to get in their mind and see how they're dealing with being wealthy. How they're, how is their family life? How is their friendships in life? How is dealing with people you don't even know on social media viewing you as a rich person? Like, how do you move? What is your mindset like? That's the kind of fear I deal with. It's kind of like, like I. Like, I'm going to be rich, but I'm kind of, like, have anxiety towards it. Like, damn, like, I'm scared to lose it. I'm scared to get there and be, like, and fumble it because I don't, I'm, I don't know if I'm ready for it. I don't know if, like, you know, I'm going to get it in the certain situations that come up in life. Will I be prepared to deal with them appropriately as a responsible adult? So I just kind of wonder, you know, I think um, ASAP Rocky, he's a rapper, one of my favorite rappers, inspired by him. Not necessarily a favorite rapper, but just as a person. And he said, like, money doesn't change you. It changes the people around you. And that's kind of deep because a lot of people, they say, you know, I mean, you change, you change, you know. But did you really change or do the people around you change? And I'm just curious to see, like, how do the people around me change, you know? I don't necessarily expect, you know, my parents. I think they'll always love me no matter what. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to our relationship getting better um, on higher level successes. But, uh, yeah, back to the point is... And another thing I want to say is like, you just have to be okay with being by yourself. I think five years ago when I had broke up with my girlfriend and we had a little breakup, the last thing I, I remember that rings in my head all the time, she said, you just got to be okay with being by yourself, you know? And I find that in situations I put in, it's a lot has to do with just being okay with being by myself and not having to fill the void with people always. Be here, plot the next move and being patient, sitting, even if you have anxiety, even if you have pain, even if you have might have depression, 
feel feel that. <clears throat> if you have depression, separate yourself from the feeling. If you have anxiety, separate yourself from the feeling. Be self-aware enough to be like, okay, I'm having anxiety right now. I feel my body having anxiety. My mind is racing. But treat it as you're the human. Anxiety is this thing that you're feeling. Feel that and ask, okay, why am I feeling this way? What am I actually afraid of? What am I actually scared of? Okay. Understand that anxiety is just a thing. It's it's some it's chemicals released in your body. And sometimes it's it's just natural something you can't do anything about it at that moment. You just have to let it pass. Just as depression. Sometimes you might be down. Separate yourself from the depression. You're you. But depression is just this thing that happened to come across that you're feeling in your body, but it's just going to pass. It, it just came through your body and it's just, it's going to pass. Sadness. All, all these emotions that you have, detach yourself from the emotions. Let them come, feel them, sure. But understand that, you know, it's it's not you. Detach yourself so you can move past them and you can develop some some grit and develop some emotional intelligence and develop some some callous to these things because on the road things are going to hit you you're going to have you're going to be up and you're going to be down you might be up then you're going to be down but on the up and down you keep learning and you're going up you just have to be a little callous enough to and sometimes you have to be numb to it to separate outside things you can't control from what you can't what you can control no matter what's going on out there control your inner world